What's up guys? Mason here, Cardinal Gaming. Thanks so much for clicking on the video, liking the video, subscribing, uh, supporting the channel, supporting the store, all that good stuff. Uh, I, I don't normally sit down, so this is kind of weird for me. Um, let's talk about something pretty cool that I think um, is going to start establishing a trend with new Pokemon products and new types of Pokemon products. Um, and, I'm, and I am sitting down and I have empty space over here because I'm going to put fancy graphics over here uh, to kind of support the video and give you guys some information because I'm going to talk about some stuff that maybe Pokemon exclusive collectors don't know about other TCGs that are out there. So that's why this is here. Anyways, so the Marnie Premium Ultra Uber Tournament Edition Plus Ultra um, product that's coming out very soon. Uh, I think it's in August. Um, Marnie's milk carton. It's basically what uh, a lot of people are referring it to or, and, and comparing it to a milk carton because that's the weird shape that it's in. But I want to talk about that product in particular and what that kind of is developing and we could potentially see more products like that coming down the pipes here in the future. Let's let's start off with what's in it. If you don't know, if you haven't been in the loop, uh, I forgive you. I'm going to cover it here. So let's talk about it. So it is a, a, a basically like a promo box, but not. It's like a contained container, and it has exclusive promos to those, kind of like what a box would have, but also has. Uh, an abnormally large amount of packs in it. it has seven packs in it and it has a total of four promo cards that are either uh, just reprints or uh, alt arts or something like that um, we know two because it's based on Marnie we know that the promo is going to be the full art Marnie that was not in Shining Fates obviously we knew we were going to get that but we didn't know how we were going to get it so that's interesting and that we're seeing another Marnie box where this product is coming in because we already had a, a Marnie collection box a couple sets ago where it had like Grim Snarl and uh, what is it, Morpico maybe uh, some other and then had like a play mat to it so we've already had Marnie in its own product before and now she gets another product because well we all know why but so there's a full art that we didn't get in Shiny Fates, and there is another promo that was in another series of these special collection um, promo type of products that are typically only Japan only. Um, there's actually a series of three. That one has Hop, and and Bead is in the other one, along with the Marnie. The Marnie one is what we're getting. No word on the Hop or the Bead alternate art if we're gonna get that. So. Yeah, this kind of product is not something that normally Americans or the English audience, not just Americans, but the rest of the world outside of Japan would get. We see Japan really do a, an awesome job of premium products for Japan where they bundle things. Like you think of the Eevee Heroes um, premium box that's over there now that has packs and, and the special uh, Espeon VMAX promo is in that sort of product. It has sleeves and a deck box and, and other uh, accessories and stuff in it. Normally we don't get those sorts of products but we are now getting this type of product and it's interesting that Pokemon is taking this direction and, and I think it's overdue for us to start getting this kind of stuff in a more, a more regular manner because even though the rest of the products are in Japanese and have Japanese packs in them, they're worldwide uh, sellers and and people around the world want these kinds of products um we also saw um along this line uh, another uh, amarni box that was in japan and then we had nessa nessa had her own uh promo box as well There's, she, they just make a lot of these pretty much i think every set has had maybe one or two even uh that comes along with it and they have special sleeves and exclusive uh, you know box uh arts for like uh holding like your bulk cards and stuff like that so again very cool products that uh, normally are pokemon center japan exclusive but um yeah starting to see stuff that has this type of theming and and kind of is like a, a premium product outside of 
the normal sets that we get here in uh, the US and around the world, other than Japan. So, if you guys don't know, there is a series of products in one of the other larger uh, TCGs out there, Magic the Gathering. Uh, these products are called Secret Layers. Basically, Secret Layers are reprints or different arts of collectible cards, and they normally have like a theme. Like, um, they had one that was all like kitten themed, and, and had a bunch of cards that were related to cats. Um, and they've even done like bigger, uh, larger brand deals with uh, like My Little Pony, where they had a printing of My Little Pony cards, and they had uh, The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead was a super popular one. They did very well. And they've had uh, you know, characters from the, the comic book and the show as alt or arts of just planeswalkers in those types of products. So they're very cool. Uh, secret layers is what they're called. Um, if Pokemon put them out, it'd be interesting what they would call them. If they would do like, let's see, uh, secret, secret's kind of like a, kind of like a mystery and layers, that's kind of like a, like a, like, layers are like dungeons. So they could call them mystery dungeons. There's already stuff like that in Pokemon. It'd be perfect. Pokemon, you can have that one for free. But yes, uh, these types of products where we have all these kind of like alternate art promos or specialty promos, if we would see that kind of product more, which I think we, we are going to and, and are going to start seeing that kind of stuff, you know, it just makes sense that Pokemon is a phenomenon worldwide and that the worldwide audience uh, wants this type of product and, and I think if we didn't have the production issues that we had, we probably would have seen this kind of product even earlier. And I really do think that this is probably like a test run for Pokemon with the Marnie. Of course, Marnie is a slam dunk. You take the ultimate card from their Shiny Star V set, put it in a promo box with a bunch of packs for I think $39.99 is supposed to be the MSRP. I say good luck to you finding it for that price. Uh, because uh, I think they're already going up on eBay <laughs> from the range of like 80 to 100 and up to 120. So, um, and guys, again, it comes out in August. Uh, it's only June, beginning of June. And I don't have any idea of what the allocations for numbers are. So let's just, let's just see how, how much we're getting before we start going crazy and paying all these outrageous prices for stuff. Let's, uh, let's tone it down a little bit, okay? and just uh, be cool for a minute. But, yeah. It's uh, obviously a, an awesome card that people do want. They were very upset that we didn't get it, and we knew we were gonna get it in a specialty product, we just didn't know how. So, like I said, this is two of four of the four possible promos that are in this box. Maybe it'll be the Hop and Bead uh, promo, we don't know. Um, I don't think that has been revealed yet. But, it should very soon as we start to see, uh, you know, production shots, more production shots from this product. And normally they display all the contents and, and show us what's coming in the box. They haven't done that yet, which is not typical. So just bear that in mind. I think it's gonna be probably something pretty neat. But yeah, uh, I think this is gonna be a test run for us getting these types of specialty products like Japan has been getting. Um, I think if that does very well, obviously the EV Heroes uh, specialty proc is is impossible to get. Um, obviously, Pokemon wanting to make money wants to probably put out that type of product for the rest of the market because it's a no-brainer that it's going to do very well. Just like how this Marnie box or Marnie milk carton is going to be a home run. Something with the EVs in it is going to also be a home run if they make you know, deck sleeves and stuff like that with them. Normally they partner with Ultra Pro for that stuff. I believe Ultra Pro also makes it for their Japan uh, stuff. I don't know that 100%. But Ultra Pro pretty much has exclusivity with uh, production of their stuff here in America. So it would make sense that they would continue that and making all this other stuff because they do make their play mats and all the other branding stuff that is kind of bland compared to what we could be getting and what Japan gets. Like, uh, we get just such a, a slim picking of the cool stuff that Japan... Japan gets, you know, 20, 30 different art sleeves sometimes per quarter. 
and we may get something that have a Pikachu on it and have a Mew or a Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, very basic stuff like that. And they have such awesome stuff in Japan. I'm surprised that we're not seeing that kind of stuff. And that kind of stuff does see a premium here in the American market. Uh, you know, those sleeves that would cost typically probably six to ten dollars uh, if you were buying them in Japan. You know, they can sell for a premium here in the States for $20, $25, depending on, you know, how expensive they are. So, yeah, it would make sense that to put that kind of stuff out and to, to get that type of product out in the market here for the rest of the world. But we'll see how heavily allocated they have this Marnie milk carton, and we'll see just how well it does. I, I think it's obvious that it's going to do very well, but what they do with that information and where we go from there... It's gonna be interesting and I think uh, that's just something to think about when we talk about the the separation between Pokemon Japan and Pokemon International and what kind of products that they put out so we'll, we'll keep tabs on that what would you guys like to see come out would you like uh, products like the Nestle box here uh, in the rest of the world I'm sure you would uh, Eevee heroes I'm sure everybody would love to have that specialty box for the rest of the world as well um, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Again, appreciate you guys watching. Support the channel, support the store. And, uh, thanks guys. I'll see you in the next one.